Only one person does the washing, as there can be a lot of contamination involved. His name is Santiago. And that's his wife who does the washing. That's an iodine solution that helps control of the bacteria on the other. She's drying the others with newspapers to wipe off the iodine solution so it doesn't get into the milk. The important thing is that here, in the countryside, us, small producers, are learning how to produce quality milk ready to drink. But it wasn't just the quality of the milk that was an issue. Keeping the customers satisfied was hard work. Housewives here want fresh milk at 6.30, 7 in the morning for their children to take to school. So we had to do the milking at 4 in the morning. And that's really tough, especially in winter when it's particularly hard. Javier needed a new and steady market for his milk. The issue of hygiene could be resolved, but the dairy company, Tony, still had concerns. They were used to dealing with large dairy farms. Well, we were originally approached by the Alliance on this business of the inclusive businesses. And at first, I was rather skeptical about uh, whether this would work or not, or the true or the real value of this type of business, because um, they were insisting that we ought to buy product from very, very small producers. Is it economically possible to go and collect milk from dozens and dozens of small farmers? And on first sight, it seemed that it was, it was really impossible to do. Once we've identified the business opportunity, we then focus specifically on the situation of the small producers. How can we improve their competitiveness to make them more attractive to the businesses concerned? And at the same time, how can the businesses contribute to the development and level of competitiveness of the small producers?